To be an atheist you need to believe a number of things assumptions and generally have a huge fantasy and the existence of God is obvious scientifically and so easy to explain even to kid. All living beings on earth have. Some creatures have primitive intelligence others have a mediocre one, a crow or chimpanzee a person has a very developed mind perfect. Let's build intelligence according to degree of pumping and we get a hierarchy earthly minds. If we divide this hierarchy of minds into several stages, we will see that for every being, the understanding of the world is limited only by its level. Everything that is above is not a cognizable world for him, and everything below is primitive creatures see this way the world in man, that is, if this stage dung flies. Then each of these stinkers believes that she is the crown of creation, and for some reason the rest of the organisms are primitive and underdeveloped. Why can't the fly see? That a more perfect one stands above her mind, because between them is huge the gulf of physiological differences for flies that this creature is critically complicated and falls out of her paradigm. For example, for the banana plant, the underlying one-cell world seems primitive, because the banana is a complex multicellular creature. The banana lives in its banana dimension, here there is sunlight, humidity, chemicals. It is smart and even turns its leaves towards the sun when you need to aim. But then the monkey picks the banana and starts eating it, the banana cannot see or understand this monkey, it's just that the peel fell off from it, and then half of the pulp disappeared. For a banana, these are simply some inexplicable natural processes, higher in interference. For the banana, the monkey is a god who cannot be seen or described. The monkey that we know for the banana does not exist, in this case the banana is an atheist, he can be understood, but the monkey is real and he is well aware that he is eating a banana. It turns out that above the banana there is a higher monkey mind that knows and understands more. But above the monkey there is another mind that it is not given to understand. Try to explain to the monkey what the internet is and then persuade it to subscribe to my channel. For a monkey, the internet is not only incomprehensible, it does not exist, and for a monkey, a person is just a substance that brings food. Moreover, the monkey is sure that he is manipulating you when he gets his piece of sugar. At best, for the monkey, you are part of nature which he knows nothing, so each level of intelligent beings is aware of the lower level and the creatures ignore the upper ones and so on ad infinitum, man is built into the system. Amoeba is not aware of the mind of plants, plants are not aware of the mind of animals, the animal is the mind of man, man is the mind of a superior being. But there are thousands of these steps and each representative of the level considering himself the crown. He makes mistakes again and again and that's it on step number 1500 there is another person one crown of creation. Foaming at the mouth this crown proves he's top-notch there is no evolution of God, and the higher mind is nonsense imagine the unbending faith on any pastor must have envy. To make sure what you're wearing evolution has stopped tell anyone to the doctor that you are the chosen one, and he will begin you treat. How many feelings does a person need to being in your banana dimensions realize this mind of God 10, 100, 1000, we only have 5 senses but we are sure that there is no God. Imagine that a dead squirrel with fleas is floating in the sea. Civilization that inhabits this corpse continuing to change generations more and more individuals hatch from nits who have never seen intelligent life one of these atheist fleas is a must would argue. That the existence of mind outside the squirrel is absurd, but we know what's there far beyond the ocean everything is teeming with intelligent life. But if you talk about the highest mind in space you will be mistaken for crazy. There is a flower on my window, a living creature that most likely doesn't believe in me, but I. I take care of it, water it, and forgive its lack of faith in me, because. God is merciful.